Good afternoon, sir. I am going to talk to you about uh, the wonderful book that, uh, book that I read, uh, Who Moved My Chair by Dr. Spencer Johnson. This book is about uh, how reluctant we are to the change. And this is the great fact of the life that change is only the constant thing. We take the things for granted and we uh, always think that whatever we are, we are receiving now, we are always going to receive it, uh, receive it like uh, it, it is being given to us today. There will be no change, there will be no challenge and the life will go on smoothly like this. But if you look at many corporates or uh, technical world, business world, you will find every now and then that things are changing. And nowadays, it is not even a change, it is a disruption. Total, one technology comes and it takes the world by storm and everything changes. Many businesses become irrelevant. Many technologies become irrelevant with just one invention. And that time, this particular book becomes very relevant. Even the greatest management guru, Peter Drucker also says, the greatest skill in the 21st century will be learn, unlearn and relearn. You should be able to adapt to the change. Rather, you should make the change happen, not just ready. And now we will come to the uh, story of this book. Dr. Spencer Johnson beautifully starts the story of these four characters. Uh, out of them, two are mice, uh, Snip and Scurry. And two are little people like mice and their name is him and hog. They are human beings, but very small human beings. There is a maze, there are many confusing uh, parts in that maze. Once uh, anyone enters in the maze, gets lost and doesn't get the way to come out. And uh, then there are uh, good lens where you get uh, proper atmosphere, uh, food to eat and then uh, proper water to drink, proper live, uh, area to live. But there are parts of the maze where uh, there are dark alleys and dangerous areas. So these four characters uh, living nearby enters the maze and they are just moving around them and then they find uh, cheese station C where they find ample of cheese. They all are very fond of cheese and then they, they start eating they, they are very happy. Next few days, every day morning they will come and, and they will start from their home uh, where their uh, typical clothes, shoes and then they will approach the cheese station C and they will uh, eat ample, uh, ample of cheese and then they go back. This becomes such a uh, patternized routine for them that they always think that cheese will always be there in cheese station C and this, it is going to last forever. And what all they have to do is just to go to cheese station C, eat the cheese and go back. Now this cheese is metaphoric. This cheese stands for maybe financial freedom, wealth or peace of mind or a good career or a good job, stability, house, whatever we want in our, uh, in our life. Now what, what happens, snip and scurry, that these two mice are, they are animals. Their tendency is to always to do something. They do not get attached to the things. They do not get attached to the patterns. They would eat the, eat the cheese and then they would move around in the uh, maze, try to find different, different uh, venues. And when they are eating the cheese in cheese station C, they are always try to look how much cheese is left now, how long it is going to last. But these two human beings, him and her, they have, being human beings, they, they have their attachments, bias, prejudice, assumptions, and they always think the cheese is there and it, it's always going to be there. So they, they will not be any challenge, they will not have to move to somewhere else uh, to get the cheese tomorrow. And like this, uh, the days go by and snip and scurry notice that the cheese is getting reduced day by day. But these two people are relaxed and very assured. 
they never notice that they never evaluate the situation they never go to the different part of the mains and try to uh, find out the different sources but the day comes when the cheese disappears all the cheese is lost snip and spirit go to the cheese station c now they find that there is no cheese immediately they move on they do not sit there and wait for cheese they know uh, other parts of the maze they run there on the way they find some little cheese here and there they eat and some of them keep finding and get lost in the uh, in a maze now these two people do not know where where are snape and scurry when this hey my god these two human beings go to the cheese, cheese station since they do not find any cheese they are taken by surprise where did the cheese go and then they sit and they wait the whole day goes they do not get it they go back home next day they come again there is no cheese then these two people get irritated because they have patronized their life like this like this every day go get the ready made cheese eat it enjoy it and go back now there is no cheese him is very very attached to that particular routine and he, he gets irritated and uh, shows his irritation by, uh, by shouting who moved this cheese uh, how how would i get it now what how will uh, how will i get the cheese and how how can they, uh, these people move the cheese without our permission just like it is a work right to get the cheese over there and they keep waiting the days go by every day they would come they would, there is no cheese and then they don't uh, don't have any other source of food also so they start starving they become weaker and weaker day by day and snip and scary are never found else, uh, around uh, cheese station city now one day one human being hawk of this realizes that there is no point in waiting here we should start finding uh, the cheese somewhere else but then there is risk there are dark alleys there are dangerous parts in the in the maze where they if they get lost they may never come out there is risk and again there is no guarantee that they will find the cheese elsewhere but there is no point in sitting at cheese station see also because anyway there is no cheese then some he gathers all the courage and decides to move out of the cheese station see and see the unvisited part of means he tries to convince another human being him that we should start but him is very reluctant he is not ready to change he thinks that it is worth right to get uh, the cheese at cheese station see only and one day the people will care and the things will be might be easier for him he doesn't move now he starts finding the cheese somewhere uh, around the place, uh, uh, G station C but he doesn't go much far he just move around and try to find he gets small chunks of cheese here and there but that is not tasty that is, that is not fresh it is left over or just like stale kind of thing but somehow he gets something to eat and uh, has a, has an energy to move then he again things why, why should i go aim is aim is not going so why should i have to go one day with the cheese will come and i will get and again what is the guarantee that i will get the cheese then he sits quiet and thinks then he realizes he, he gets a thought that what i would have done if i were uh, if i were not afraid that i may get lost in the cheese uh, maze I may get killed by someone, and again, what is the guarantee that there is very cheese as well? I just get fooled by moving to some other point. So there is no guarantee, and there are dangers also. Why should I move? But then he has to because he has to eat. Then he thinks, what should I do? Uh, what I would have done if I were not afraid? And this thing enlightens him. It, it gives him the courage. Now he starts acting like he is not afraid, and then he is. free then he freely enters the unexplored parts of maze 
It is not that he immediately gets the success. He gets so many failures, he faces so many difficulties, and every time he faces difficulty or gets some uh, cheese to eat, some success, some failure, some danger, risk, whatever he encounters, he goes on writing on the walls of the maze. And that writings are the key takeaways from this uh, book. And this is how, at the end, how is able to find out the endless supply of cheese somewhere. And that, that, that the author has given the name Cheese Station N. And then he expects him to come along following, his, uh, following the trail that he has left by writing uh, the things on the way on the world. Like this, if I tell you all the things that how I encounter on the way and what he realizes and what what are his reflections, what he writes on the wall, the whole uh, what we can say the pleasure of reading that book book will go will, will be spoiled. So I will not spoil that pleasure. Just I'm just telling you, read this book. Enjoy, and this is the biggest skill that you are going to need in your professional person career. You won't believe it is one of the most successful self-help books. And uh, yesterday when I was uh, watching the uh, reviews on the Amazon, 28 million copies are sold. And the reviews claim that the people have saved their professional careers their marriages, their personal life, so many problems were just by following this book. And the book is very thin, hardly 30 pages. But you get great insights in this book. So I urge everyone to go through this book. It will really help. Thank you very much. Thank you.